see. Grenu Grenue? Grenule? Grenue? Hello YouTube! I will be reviewing Perfume, The Story of a Murderer by Patrick Suskind. Now, this was originally published in 1985 in Germany, and you can totally tell it is not American literature because the way things are described and the things that are described are things I feel American books could not get away with. But, that being said, it was probably the weirdest book I've ever read, but I really, really enjoyed it. Now, this book revolves around the life of this man named Jean-Baptiste Gre Grenouille, I believe, it could possibly Grenouille is how I kind of pronounced it. I mean, now, this book takes place uh, in 1700s, 18th century France, uh, from just the way it's described is absolutely disgusting. I mean, there's no hygiene, and... And the story goes uh, from his birth to his adulthood, and all the different parts of his life that uh, develop him into the person that he is. He's really not raised with any kind of love and affection, and that kind of is kind of how he is. He's kind of passive. He doesn't really feel love. He doesn't really have any type of religious beliefs or any or anything like that. And the strange thing about him is he does not have any type of smell. He doesn't give off anything. People smell. Uh, um, that's uh, brought up very quickly in the book that he does not smell like anything. He does not give off a scent. And with that being said, as he gets older, and I guess for compromising for that, he has this amazingly acute sense of smell. He it, the book describes how he will uh, see something with his nose instead of his eyes, and he just seems to think everybody is disgusting, and he just never. Uh, comes into his own, and then he discovers uh, this beautiful scent of a girl, and he uh, murders her for having such a beautiful scent. He becomes so overcome by this, and he, after that, he kind of goes into the idea of making his own scent, and so he goes to work for a perfumer, and he kind of develops the knowledge that needed to create perfumes and pomades and any type of scent based product. But then the book uh, goes through several different parts and the main part really is uh, towards the end when he goes to work for another perfumer and he really develops these different types of uh, scent extracting procedures uh, and he finds that in different women who just give off this amazing aroma and he feels the only way to get what he wants is to and to have absolute control because he kind of believes that uh, if he has this scent he can kind of control the people around him. And I guess that's his ultimate goal, it's really what he wants is control and he wants this beautiful scent to have for himself and to be able to manipulate people to do as he pleases to kind of almost be a god in a way. And so he finds the only way to extract these scents is to kill all these uh, coming of age young women and to extract their scent and um, it is, it's, an, it's a very, very interesting and well-written book. I mean, as disgusting and awful as these characters and, uh, and the story is, it's, it's so well-written. Uh, Mr. Suskin's writing is just so engaging. You just want to keep reading and about these, about this doll diabolical character and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this book and it's not really a book for everybody definitely it's not something if you really are kind of squeamish towards certain graphic things like uh, like genitalia it, t it discusses talks about uh, some gore is, is also involved in this book so if you're not really into things like that, if they kind of, you know, bother you, uh, I wouldn't pick this up, but if you really like more, if you're a fan of, like, darker gothic literature, this is definitely a really good, uh, modern, uh, piece. So uh, I highly recommend, for those of you who are willing to attempt it, uh, Perfume, The Story of a Murderer by Patrick Suskind.